Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt King, and I'm going to show you guys in this video how to add your Google Analytics tracking code to your ClickFunnels site or to one of your ClickFunnels funnels. And uh, the reason that I'm doing that is because, uh, partly because Google keeps changing things, and I'm going to show you where to go to look for uh, your tracking code, and two, because that's one of the things that is uh, a lot of times overlooked when somebody's creating their ClickFunnels uh, funnel. So I'm going to show you guys just real quick. It doesn't take a long time. It shouldn't take me more than a, a couple minutes. But let's go into your Google Analytics account. If you don't have an account, um, just go to google.com and type in analytics. Analytics. And it should pop right up. If it doesn't, uh, google.com slash analytics. You can pop you can just type that in as analytics.google.com, and I think it'll come up as well. And then sign in. We're going to go into analytics. I was just in it a second ago, so it'll prop. guess it doesn't. Okay, I guess I'm not still logged in. So we're going to go in under my account, and then it's going to bring up all the pages that I had set up. So what we're going to do now is come up here to the top. I this is a random site here. What we're going to do is go to, I've got a couple client sites in here. I'm going to go to Matthew King, and then I'm going to come in here and go down to the page that we want to add uh, this information in for. And if the website that you're adding analytics for is not um, on this list, uh, you're going to have to go in and create it. So I'm not covering that in this video. We'll save that one for another one, but let's assume that it that you've already got Google Analytics set up. So we're going to go into this one. This is a rogue copywriter. So we're going to add analytics to uh, this particular site and click on all site data. Um, we actually, what's funny is I, this is the first thing that I did when I went in here and I was looking all over for it because things changed up. But that's not actually where it's at. It's actually down here in the admin area. So if you click on admin, and then come here and go to uh, your account name, go to the property, and then come and make sure that uh, the site that we're, that we're looking at is highlighted, in this case, Rogue Copywriter. We're going to come here to .js tracking info. All right, and then we're going to go to tracking code. Okay. Now, you'll see right here, website tracking. This is it right here. That's a little snippet of script code. And we're going to want to put this on all of the pages that are on your website or in your funnel. I'm going to show you an easy way to do that here real quick. So make sure you copy that. I'm on an Apple, so I'm doing Command-C. You can probably do a Control or right-click and um, just copy that out as well. And then we're going to head on over to uh, ClickFunnels. Okay, and this particular account is our Rogue, uh, sorry, Rogue Copywriter uh, pages. So... For each funnel that you have, you have to go into each funnel to add this information. So we're going to go into uh, this one here, the seven figure sales positioning. And then we're going to go to settings. Now, guys, we are, instead of going in and pasting this into every page in your funnel, we're just going to go to the funnel settings and we're going to pop this in to your head tracking code area. And that's it. All right, just make sure it made it all in there. That's all we want to do. Just the one place, and then, of course, scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit Save and Update Settings. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time here on the other uh, funnel as well, just so you guys make sure that you guys see that. And we're, we did the uh, seven-figure sales position. We're going to go to Copywriter Order Page. And then we're, again, going to go to Settings. Come down here to head tracking code. Make sure we add that in there. We can see everything. And then scroll all the way to the bottom and hit save and update. Guys, that's it. That's literally all you have to do. It might take 24 to 48 hours uh, for Google Analytics and ClickFunnels to start talking. You know, people have to hit the page and that information has to be bounced back to Google and then it'll start tracking. In, in my experience, it happens pretty quickly. Um, but for the sake of this video, don't expect to have perfect uh, tracking results for at least uh, 48 hours. Okay, that's it. Um, if you guys haven't 
got ClickFunnels or you guys need to get an account, you can try it out uh, for 14 days for, for free. And I'll put a link down here in the description of this video so you guys can give that a shot. I mean, if, you are, if you already have it, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit, okay? It's been one of the, the greatest inventions uh, of software that I, I've seen since I've been building websites for other people. So that's it. Click that link down there. Grab your 14-day uh, free trial, and maybe I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.